What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we're gonna to be talking about the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and we'll be touching on the Galaxy Buds Live also but we're gonna be talking about some of the coolest features on this phone that I honestly wish I had on my iPhone but we're gonna get into that. But before we get started, a cool company called Vessi wanted to partner up and talk about their cool new weekend shoe. Now I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the sneakers that I've been picking up recently are made of this like mesh material. And if it rains, it's pretty much a wrap for my socks, my feet, it's a bad experience. But with the weekend shoe from Vessi, you get a waterproof shoe. Even if you get them in the mud, you can just throw them in the washing machine since they are washing machine friendly, which I honestly wish all sneakers were able to do that. Not to mention, check this out guys. They got my favorite color going. Vessi's also a socially conscious brand. These are 100% vegan. If you guys wanna grab a pair, check the links down below in the description. You can reserve it for just five bucks. And I hear that they sell out pretty quickly, so you're gonna to wanna to jump on that. And if you missed the pre-order, use code UAC to make sure you grab yourself a pair. But now let's talk about those features on Note 20. Now we're gonna talk about some really dope features on this phone that, like I said, I wish were on the iPhone. First up being Dex. Now, I know most of us have heard of Samsung Dex before. It's where you can plug this thing into a monitor or some, not, not that, that's, that's an iMac, Jay. You can plug this thing up to a monitor of some sort and then you basically have like a computer attached to the monitor. It, it, it's just a whole cool system. You can throw keyboards and mice at it and then it's all powered by the phone. But now with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, you can do all that with just something like a smart TV and you don't need any cables to do it anymore. It's it's insane. So check this out, right? All you do is drag down the little notification bar, you swipe over and you see Dex, you hit that, it'll find a TV that's compatible. And then it found my LG TV right in front of us. Might take a second or two though, but there we go, it's starting up. And you can see it's just popped up right there. Okay, so this one in particular isn't optimized for using Dex, but it works nonetheless. Now, let me actually make this thing full screen. So boom, there you go. You have Samsung Dex, which is basically like a desktop version of Android. You'll be able to use this like you would any old computer. And you can use your phone as like the touchpad. You can see I have the mouse going over here. So I can just go ahead and like, I can click like whatever I want. Internet, let me double tap that. And like right there, like this is just straight up regular Google. And you can do this with pretty much any smart TV as long as you can use Miracast. Now this is crazy to me because look, nothing's connected. You got like a desktop on your TV, that's nuts. But what's even cooler is that you can go ahead and grab something like a mouse and keyboard. Now you just pair these through Bluetooth to the phone itself. And with this, you're like ready to use your phone as a desktop on the computer. What, why is your average consumer wife, the first thing that pops up. I don't need to mind your business. <laughs> but let's type in something like Gundam. We can pull this up, we can watch videos. They got this gigantic Gundam being built in Japan right now. This is crazy. This is all happening in real time right from this phone. And it's not connected to anything. Like, tell me that's not a mind blowing feature. Could you imagine taking this to like a hotel and all you need is like, Boom, these two right there, you can bust out whatever you need to with this, throw up like Microsoft Word app on this and you're kind of good to go. It's a feature that doesn't get enough praise. I think this is just like super cool. Now the next one's actually a pretty cool feature that you might've heard of if you've been researching the Note 20. If you're using your S Pen and you're in the note taking app, there's a pretty cool feature that allows you to now record audio. So you can go ahead and hit voice recordings. And let's say you're in a lecture or you're in a business meeting and you're not the greatest note taker, but you know you're listening for some very important stuff. Like let's say we're listening to Professor Judd over here, right? So Judd's talking about the Note 20. Difference in the screen panel, that sounds important. So I'll go ahead and say, listen here. So now that we've done that, right? I can stop recording. So what's cool is I can actually go back to the part where I started typing listen here and let's say that's right here, this is where I started typing that, and I can have the audio playing from that, and I can hear the lecture or you know whatever was discussed in the meeting, 
at this exact point. I think Google came out with the Pixel 4, an audio recording feature that turned the audio into text and you pretty much get something like that with the Note 20. Not to the same degree, but like you can take your own notes and you know write down whatever you want to kind of help you with your note taking process. Now I think that's cool, but professionals, students, if you think it's cool, let me know with a comment down below. If it's something you still feel like you wouldn't use, let me know with a comment down below. I'm interested in knowing how you guys would use the feature. Now the next feature I'm actually liking is the new space zoom on the Note 20. Now we of course saw that feature first introduced with the S20 Ultra with the crazy 100 times zoom. This one doesn't have quite that. It can do up to 50 times and is actually pretty impressive. So let's say I'm sitting back. I got like, you know, some really cool figures over there. I can actually take some pretty solid photos of them from all the way over here. So right here, this is what a normal shot would look like. Boom. But when you zoom in, you can go five times, 10 times, 20, even 50. And what's really cool about this is that if you hold it steadily, it's actually really, really stable. Anytime, anytime you're really zooming in on something, your subject is gonna look like it's going through an earthquake because that zoom is crazy, but Samsung does some really good job stabilizing the shot so you can go ahead and take the picture. So let's go ahead and take that and let's actually zoom out a little bit. Let's do, you know, 10 times. So boom, you can see that pretty clearly. Now this you could even see pretty clearly as well. It's a little noisy, but you absolutely see what you took a picture of. It's very clean for 50 times. Now I'm not gonna say I took a lot of pictures with that zoom, but I did use it as a magnifying glass for things that were really far away and I couldn't see. Boop, 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 dial in, do some like space zooming. I was able to see what I needed to. And Jay, remember we used it to find the Uber on the real day in the life? Oh, we did use it to see Pikachu too. Mm -hmm. Listen guys, it has some use cases. And what's awesome as well is you got this little window so that you can see exactly where you're aiming because if you don't, like right here, you wouldn't have any clue what you're aiming at and it would probably take you forever to find your subject. But with this little window over here, it makes life a lot easier. Gundam, baby. Now, while we're on the subject of the camera, we have our beautiful subject over here, Cookie Monster which I said it before and I'll say it again. She needs a bit of a grooming. Yeah, I know, mama, I'm sorry. You'll get groomed in like a day or two. We obviously haven't been out. We got a baby. There's a lot of stuff going on in life, okay, guys? So Cookie's gonna be our subject for right now because this thing actually has some really cool video features. So instead of just going to the regular video mode, you go to more and then you can now hit pro video. And yes, I know this isn't your average consumer friendly. This is more so for those folks out there who have experience using professional cameras, DSLRs, that kind of thing. You would kind of understand these settings a little bit more. Or if you are an average consumer, you can use this mode to learn how those cameras work if you plan on getting into that kind of thing in the future. So we got Cookie Monster over here who Oh man, baby, we gotta get you cut. We gotta get you cut, but you're cool, you're cool. You're still cute. But you have access to a bunch of stuff that you can actually change on, <laughs> you can change on the fly. So you can go ahead and change things like your shutter speed. You can see it has real time effects, even though you are recording in the moment. You can even go ahead and change the ISO and you can even change the autofocus. So if you don't wanna rely on autofocus, you can manually focus and it even has like focus peaking, so you can see what's in focus and what isn't. Oh, Cookie, you're, you're working right now, mama. Come on, come here. So see right now, her face is in focus. We're getting a clean shot of her face. But if I wanted to get that chair behind her, I can just zoom over there to the back and now you can see she's clearly out of focus. So you also get the ability to use this zoom and it moves at a constant speed, so it's not like the jarring it's not that, you know, we don't like that. But yeah, you can zoom in and it does that very smooth. And the cherry on top is if you go all the way down, you can even change the way the microphone is recording. So you have all these different options if you wanna record what's in front of you, what's in the rear, Omni for everything around you. You can select just how the audio is recorded using the built-in microphones. And if you wanted to even add some more elements to it, you can use the microphones on something like the Galaxy Buds Live which we'll talk about in just a second. You did great, give me five. Bam. So here we have them guys. These are the Galaxy Buds Live. Yes, go ahead, say it. They look like beans. 
Yes, we all know this. This is the joke that's all over the internet. It's true, can't lie about it. But I do think Samsung did something crazy with these. Now, when I first saw these, I immediately thought this side had to go in your ear, like the ear canal or something. Like this is some kind of ear tip. It's not an ear tip. This just kind of holds it in place. This is where a traditional ear tip would be. You just kind of throw it in there. This is a design we've never seen before. I actually really like it. It's pretty secure. Cookie is like losing her mind over there. The integration that you get with the Galaxy Note 20 is pretty nuts. Like I said, you could use that pro video mode to record audio straight from this. You of course get access to all the other features that you would get with a pair of Bluetooth earbuds, especially a dedicated pair of Bluetooth earbuds uh, made by the same manufacturer. You get a ton of cool stuff. So if you go into something like the Wear app, you see all the things you have access to right here. Now we've seen a lot of these features in the past with the previous versions of the Galaxy Buds. A lot of them have carried over, like the ability to change the way the sound is right from here. That is a feature that I wish the iPhone and AirPods had. Being able to change the sound quality would be super, super cool depending on what you're listening to. Uh, speaking of sound quality, I do think these actually sound pretty good. Only thing that's not so great is probably like the sound isolation. I think I read somewhere that they're called the Galaxy Buds Live because you're supposed to be able to kind of take in what's going on around you. Pretty similar approach to something like the Power Beats. Power Beats doesn't have a crazy seal so that if you're outside jogging and you're using it for outdoor activities, you kind of know what's going on around you. I guess it's a similar take here. But what's interesting is that these do have active noise canceling. And if you let the internet tell it, they'll tell you, oh man, the active noise canceling does nothing. Well, they're not lying. It really doesn't do much at all. Uh, I have it on right now and I've been using, this is my life now, guys. I've been using a white noise machine to help put down Austin for bed. You get that low frequency that helps him go to sleep. And that's what active noise canceling is all about. It's about stopping sounds like that from getting into your ears. So if you're like on a plane, a train, you're traveling, whatever, it drowns that sound out. And let me tell you, this, I hear every bit of it. Sorry, Samsung, I like them. I like them a lot, but if you're buying these for the active noise cancellation, save your money. It, it just doesn't do it. But like I said, you do get all the features that we used to see with the Galaxy Buds. Uh, they even have like the touch panel. So if you wanna play and pause your music or if you wanna double tap to you know skip and go back, you can do all that. It's actually pretty solid. And it also has the auto pause feature if you take them out your ears. I like the Galaxy Buds live. I like them a lot. They're just not great for active noise canceling. They do a good job of staying in the ear. They have really great integration with this. They even are able to get charged on the back of the Note 20 because it has that power share feature. So lots of good stuff going for this combination. I think this works really, really well together. Just don't use it for active noise cancellation. That's my mini review within this video. So you guys will know how I feel about these guys right here. But that about wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you walk away knowing some of the cool things that the Note 20 can do. There are lots of cool features I think would look great on an iPhone here, but that's for another time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Till then, as your average consumer, peace. Is that Austin crying? <laughs>